faith fully. What I've learned throughout my life, reading and looking up the Bible is this. Those who follow God needs to leave everything. Only God can be a master. Not your career, not family, not your desires. You can only worship God if you actually let go. Those who follow God has to follow Him. Period. Faith, we always describe that. Faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. And that is so true. When you look back to the scriptures, by faith, Abel brought God a better offering. By faith, Enoch was taken from his life on earth. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. By faith, warned about the flood, Noah in holy fear built the ark. By faith, Abram took off to his promised land. He was looking ahead to the city of God, more than the materialistic things or inheritance or land. By faith, Sarah considered God faithful who made the promise because he never failed on his promises. By faith, Abraham offered his only son for sacrifice. Abraham reasoned with himself by faith that God could even raise the dead. Without faith, it is impossible to please God, I would say. By faith, Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau for their future. By faith, Jacob blessed each of Joseph's son. By faith, Joseph spoke about the Exodus. By faith, Moses refused to be known as the sons of Pharaohs. Moses chose to be mistreated rather than enjoying the fleeting pleasures of sin. By faith, Israel kept the Passover. By faith, people who were chosen crossed the Red Sea. By faith, wall of Jericho fell. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. By faith, prostitute Rahab welcomed the spies. By faith, Gideon, Barak, Samuel, Japheth, David, Samuel, all prophets who by faith conquered kingdoms, administered justice, shut the mouths of lion, stood in the flames with integrity, who got their weakness turned to strength. By faith, women received back their dead, raised to life again. But by faith, some got tortured and dead, but they hoped for the better gain in their resurrection. Some faced jeers, flogging, chains, imprisonment, some put to death by stoning, sword in two, persecuted and mistreated because of their faith in the Almighty. I would say the world was not worthy of them. Most of them wandered in deserts, mountains, in caves, in holes, in sand, in ground because of all of their faith. Well, none of them received what they had been promised by God, but God had planned something better for us so that only together with us would they be made perfect. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such great crowd of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. And let us run with perseverance, the race marked out for us. Fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith, for the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. I plead you, son and daughters of the Most High, really to consider him who ended all this opposition from sinners, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. Put your faith in Christ Jesus today. Fix your hope and faith in Jesus. God bless.